I'm sure by now you've seen all the videos on how Meta has combined something like this and something like this together to create a form factor that is fashionable and can be worn all day. Well, today I want to make a quick video on Meta's breakthrough and if Meta's glasses can actually replace XR or AR glasses like this ones that we have today and what other options are there. The Meta glasses is simply incredible. It is something I absolutely want. I have a lot of smart glasses at home, you know. One of my issues with having uh, smart glasses is I have a glasses that has Bluetooth speaker, transition lenses, but no camera. And then I have a cam uh, I have a glasses that has a camera and it doesn't have speakers. Or I have glasses with speakers with camera but doesn't have transition so I can't wear them in the sun. There's just a lot of missing things in those glasses. But now with these metal glasses, I simply, I literally have all in one. I, I, I really love it. At $7.99, I don't know if I'm going to get one, but if I can, I absolutely will. I love that glasses and that's what I would want to wear all day because it is something that I can wear to a club. Not club, but is this something, it is something that I can wear to like a birthday party, to a restaurant on a trip just something out and about i love the fact that that glasses has a display speaker camera it's just a basically all in one you know with something like this right here right it is great for productivity it is great for movies however you just simply cannot wear this to something like a restaurant a party or some some kind of event because it is just too bulky it sits too far forward on the face even the one pro still sits far forward because of the thickness over here and another thing is it has to be tethered so yeah you just these are two completely different types of glasses this is more for productivity and entertainment and that one is more of like a all-day wearables and i think that if you can afford it you should probably have both but if i can only pick one personally i would pick this but the meta glasses is absolutely incredible. I would love to get my hands on it. But here's the thing though. I was as I was looking at those meta glasses, I just kept seeing a bunch of different recommendations by different companies. I've seen the Rokid, I've watched videos on it. It's the wave guy, but it's green, so it doesn't have colors. So it's like, oh, it's 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 cool. It's really, really cool. And I kind of want to try it, but I don't know if I want to buy it. You know what I'm saying? It it, it might be great but I, I think I really just want a display. And then I came across Inmo Air 3. Now this glasses is something that I've been seeing along my timeline, but I never clicked it because the thumbnails just look clickbait. They look like clickbait. I just didn't believe there was a glasses that was completely wireless and had a full on display like the x reels and multi windows. I just, I was like, nah, it's, it's got to be clickbait. There's something catchy or fishy about it. So I just never really clicked on it. And today I wanted to see, uh, I just sort of just saw the ad again. So I clicked on it and sure enough, I'm kind of impressed and surprised by the Inmo Air 3. Obviously these glasses are not on the market yet. They're not made by a company as big as Meta. So a lot of people are not talking about it. But I think that this one is also quite incredible. What's actually special about these glasses is, so with the Meta glasses, you have a singular display and you can watch small videos like, you know, YouTube sh shorts, maybe Instagram, TikToks and stuff, things like that, but not really an actual movie and you can't do productivity. With glasses like the Inmo Air 3, it seems like you can do an actual productivity. It claims it has six Dolph, a camera in the front, a Snapdragon CPU, eggs of RAM, all within the glasses. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it's, it sounds good. It seems too good to be true. But then again, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's on Kickstarter. So if there's something that you're interested in, you might want to check that out. If you're really stuck on trying to get something like the meta glasses, but you want a bigger display and you want to be able to do productivity, that might be a good option. Although I can't recommend it, not because it's not good, but because I haven't tried it. And a lot of times there's usually something catchy about, you know, these companies and stuff like that. But anyways, once again, 
can Meta replace glasses like the x once? Right now, no, because the display is just not big enough. And can this replace Meta? No, because once again, there are two completely different types of glasses. But the question I have for you guys is, would you be getting that Meta glasses? I feel like if you can afford it, I, I think it might be a very good option. Or there's also the Rokids, which I don't know the price of the Rokids, but it has, you know, things like navigation, heads up display. And then there is obviously this Inmo Air 3. And this just seems to be quite a few options for people that want something. But so far, what I see though, that Meta just might be the best way to go. That's if, you know, you already have something like this. But um, anyway, let me know your thoughts on those glasses. What do you think? Would you rather get this, uh, I mean, the Meta glass, display glasses, or would you rather wait for the x Project Aura, which includes collaboration with Google, and it's going to have Android XR, so it's going to be a lot more capable. I mean, I am so excited, man.